Hey y'all, what's up? It's Igor Reese, and welcome back to another Spiritual Love Jones general energy reading for my beautiful divine feminines. All right, y'all already know this will be general, so take what resonates, and if it does not, leave that shit where it's at, okay? Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right in, and let's see what spirit got for y'all. I've already blessed this reading for us and shuffled the card, so let's see what's going on, y'all. All right, spirit, what do you have for my beautiful divine feminines? What do you have for my beautiful divine feminines? So the first card out, what is this? We got speak the name. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> Something right here. Okay, so we got speak the name. So what I'm hearing is maybe some of you guys need to um, spend some like one-on-one -on -one time with God. Um, just talk to him. <sighs> For some of y'all, it's like he wants you to just sit still because he needs you to like see something or hear something, okay? So yeah, just spend like some one-on-one -on -one time with God. However it is, you do that. 111 when I just said that, okay? All right, so what else here do you have for my beautiful divine feminine? What else do you have for my beautiful divine feminine? So we got working hard, okay. So you could be working hard right now. Um, we got disrespect. I feel like um, some of you guys could feel like disrespected like at your workplace is what I'm getting with this. You've been working really hard. Some of y'all been putting in like overtime or just like doing more than you're supposed to. And you don't feel like you're getting like paid enough. Some of y'all are looking for like a way out of this situation, like whether it's you looking for another job or just trying to do something for yourself. But I, that's why I feel like you need to take some time to spend with God, like that one-on-one -on -one time, because he's trying to show you something else, okay? It may be like some type of gift that you have that you don't even know about, or he's just going to give you some type of idea or some type of vision, okay? And you need to act on it. All right, here, what else? Yeah, we got feeling lonely. So a lot of you guys um, who are dealing with this specific situation, um, it can have you feeling like lonely, like nobody really understands like what you're going through right now. But you're never really alone. God is always with you, okay? All right, so we got, I see you as my wife. Okay. So somebody is looking at you as wife and material. I also feel like whoever this person is um, that sees you in this light, they see how hard you've been working. I feel like for a lot of them, they wanna like, um, you know, they wanna help you out. Look at this, investments. They want to help you out. They want to invest in you. 333 when I just said that. See, look at this. Knock at the door. And then it came under speak the name. That's why I said something is right here waiting for you. Like God is getting ready to open some doors for you, Divine Feminine. God is getting ready to open some doors for you. And also with this investments card coming out as well. I feel like you guys may be getting ready to invest into something that you really love or something you've been wanting to do. But I feel like it's gonna bring you like a lot of um, different opportunities, okay? So we got success. So all of your hard work is about to pay off, Devon Feminine. All of your hard work is getting ready to pay off. You have success coming in. And then we got into the phone. So an important phone call could be coming through. That's what I'm getting. 
and you need to answer that call. Then we got child. Hmm. So for some of you, um, what I'm getting is if you like work a lot or you're not able to spend time with your child a lot or your children, they are starting to feel a little lonely as well. Um, they know you have to work. They know, you know, you have to do what you have to do to take care of, you know, your kids or whatever. But this is the energy that they're in when you're away from them. I feel like they just really love when you're there with them, you know. Um, I also feel like you feel the same way, like vice versa. I feel like you're tired of being away from your kids. Um, some of you just like have, you know, odd work hours where you just happen to do what you have to do for right now. And, you know, you just been putting in a lot of work. Like I said, some of y'all been working like extra hours, um, just day in, day out. It's like every time you turn around, it's like you go to work, you come home. By the time you go to sleep with the kids or, you know whatever you don't even really have time for yourself it's time to go to sleep so you can get back up and do it all over again <sighs> some of y'all just need like a breath of fresh air <clears throat> like seriously um <clears throat> also what i'm getting is um this is this is getting ready to change for you okay God is trying to show you something because we have knock at the door. What I'm getting is like, it's an opportunity that's getting ready to show up. And you, I feel like you don't even see this coming. You don't even see this coming. For some of y'all, um, what I'm getting is if you had somebody that was over you, like a manager or like a supervisor or something like that, this person um, could be about to lose their job or they're just gonna like be like suspended or something like that. Um, I feel like somebody's seeing the disrespect that they were giving you um, and they see how hard you've been working. Like somebody's been watching you. Somebody's been keeping an eye on you. Um, some of y'all even come to work early, leave late. You know what I'm saying? Little stuff like that. And you're going to get promoted. Like somebody's going to call you out of nowhere. Like, hey, we want to put you in this position. We want to pay you more money. We want to, you know what I'm saying? We want to give you this job offer. And it's also going to create more time for you to be with your kids. Like when you're at um, work, your kids are going to be like at school. So it's going to be like more balanced out for you. <sighs> you're gonna be happy you're gonna be happy look at this didn't i just say look at this phone call wow and look it will never be the same like after this phone call it will never be the same like this is going to change your life this is going to change your life like for the better You're going to be like jumping up and down and shit. Like I can just see it. You're going to be like so fucking happy. And it's going to catch you off guard. It's really going to get you off guard. And it's going to happen when you least expect it. And for some of y'all, it might happen when you're in like a bad mood or you might be asleep. Or it's just going to be like where you are just going to be distracted. And that's why <clears throat> it has answered the phone right here. You know what I'm saying? So say like if you have like an attitude or some shit <laughs> and you just like in a bad mood and then all of a sudden your phone ring and you look at it and you're like, man, I don't even want to talk to nobody right now. Like you need to answer that phone call. Like even if you like sleep and you wake up out of your sleep and you're like, Ugh, and you look at the phone and it's ringing, but you really don't want to answer it because you really like sleep, <laughs> you know, you need to answer the phone. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to be something like that. It's going to be something like that. <clears throat> so we got, I made mistakes, but I love you. I 
I feel like for some of y'all, this could be like a past person. This past person can also see like how hard you're working, like especially if you had kids with this person. Oh shit. <laughs> Wait a minute, y'all. This is too many cards. Oh. Okay. All right, spirit. What else? Off of you. Yeah. That's definitely <laughs> an ex. Because this is somebody that you're over. Wow. This was already turned over. So we got jealous. So some of y'all about to get married. That's what it is. Some of y'all are about to get married because somebody sees you as their wife already. So they're not going to take any, you know, like, they're not going to rush into this, but they know they want marriage with you. 11-11 when I just said that. So they are going to do this as soon as possible, you know, when they feel like the time is right. Your ex or whoever this past person is, um, is going to try to rekindle things because they are jealous. But Spirit is telling you to like keep going, keep moving forward. Okay. All right, Spirit, what else? Yeah, because you're done crying. I told you, keep, move, keep moving forward. <laughs> you and only you. This new person, that's what they're only going to be about. You and only you. You don't, you're not going to have to, like, worry about what this person is doing, where they at, or none of that shit. <laughs> so, look at this, boss. Didn't I just tell y'all it was, like, somebody that was higher up, manager or somebody like that, that was about to get ready to, like, lose their job? And you're going to like, I'm not going to say you're going to take their position, but for some of y'all, y'all are going to take their position because some of y'all work harder than they do. They don't be doing shit. It's what I'm seeing. Like, and they try to use their power, you know, to their advantage. You know what I'm saying? Abusing their motherfucking authority and shit. And it's just been getting real disrespectful, real out of hand. This boss is also jealous of you as well. Wow. But it, they about to get a lovely surprise, okay? They about to get a lovely surprise. I'm telling you that right now. <clears throat> they about to get a lovely surprise. And then look, hold on, y'all. Let me show y'all these other cards that we got. That's already we got. Nobody can come between us, okay? And what I'm getting with this card is you're not gonna let no job or anything like that come between you and your kids. Y'all heard that as confirmation. Like you're gonna be making whatever changes you gotta do, whether that's you having to find another job, you're gonna do it because you, you're you gonna put your kids first. And just, this is definitely somebody's story. And just so you know, like y'all, when I was, you know, younger, I had my, I had my child young and it was times where I had to work jobs that literally took up all of my time where I couldn't, you know, spend time with my child or I couldn't even like have him with me the majority of the time because I was too busy working. But if I could go back and say, like, fuck those jobs, you know what I'm saying? And find me something better or put myself in a position to where I could be there for my child, I would do that. Because now that I'm looking back, I'm looking like, okay, those jobs are not even worth it. Shit, like, it ain't like I'm making residual income, you know what I'm saying? From those, you know, hard days I put in, like all those long hours, it's not worth it. Cause when I look back, I miss memories out with my child, you know? So don't let nothing or nobody come in between you and your child or your children, okay? We got unconditional love. So whoever this new person is that you're dealing with or that you're going to be dealing with, they already love you unconditionally. They see you as their wife. That's why I said, like, as soon as they get the chance to do this, they're going to do it. And then we got to go through God. 
okay? So all these people, cause some of y'all been getting like really fucked with at work to the point where it make you just not wanna go to work. Um, but these people are gonna like really be paying for, they're gonna pay for it. Cause God is gonna like upgrade you like right in front of their face. They gonna look up and you gonna be the new supervisor. You gonna be the new manager. And they gonna be like, what? When did this happen? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get to work. <laughs> Anyways, we got you are approved. Okay. So whatever you've been like working towards, whatever you've been trying to get, some of y'all, um, some of y'all, like, I'm getting, like, whether this, I don't know, it's just giving, like, around, like, your home life. So, whether this is a new place or, you know, whether this is, like, a new um, car or just something that, you know, you need as far as, like, living essentials, um, you're definitely going to get approved for it. Some of y'all been needing, like, um, assistance. You know, you just been needing, like, some help. Um, you're going to get approved for it. Is what I'm hearing. I don't know why I just knocked, but <laughs> somebody, I'm telling you, something is getting ready to happen like soon for you, Devon Feminine. It's gonna catch you off guard, and it's an opportunity that's about to knock at your door. Don't miss out on it. And then we got no more second chances. And you know what I mean? I feel like this is gonna be like with your ex, your past person, and also just with whoever. It's like trying to fuck with you and your happiness. It's no more second chances. Okay? God is getting ready to show out in your life, like, literally. Literally. But what you need to do first, take this time out, okay? Because you have to use your discernment. Take this time out to, um, you know, it don't have to be, like, right now. You'll find the time for you to make, you know, time for you and God, because you want it to be just you and him. You know what I'm saying? But that's when you're going to get this download, this vision. That's when you're going to get your answers. All right. So I hope this helped y'all out. Y'all already know to do if it resonated. Hit that thumbs up button so we can get out there to more beautiful divine feminine. So we can keep healing, growing, and glowing. And I will see you guys in my next one. God bless.